Coming up in today's new video, we take an exclusive look at Wilder World's transport system and dive into the five different ways in which you get to travel around the city of Miami. All that and more coming up next. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to Third World Crypto, your home of all things within the metaverse and gaming world. As always, my name is Ubaid and if you are new here, make sure to smash that subscribe button because today we're going to be showing you how to walk on water, fly a spacecraft, race for pink slips, and even catch a train all within the same metaverse. With that being said, sit tight and get ready because you are in for a treat. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice. Wilder World is a 5D photorealistic metaverse that is being built using Unreal Engine 5. This is the same software used to create AAA gaming titles such as The Matrix Awakens, Gears of War 6, and even the hit Disney series The Mandalorian. Wilder World are seeking to establish the city of Miami, which is a one-to-one -one replica of the city of Miami. What makes this metaverse so incredibly unique is its attention to detail and functionality. In an attempt to create the most interactive metaverse yet, Miami is said to be highly functional with every item within the city created as an NFT. On top of its vast array of features, the map of Miami is set to span 1,024 square kilometers, meaning you're going to need to know your way around the city. To give you an idea of just how massive the city of Miami really is, by comparison, the GTA 5 map measures approximately 75.84 square kilometers, making Miami a whopping 13 and a half times larger. Now, as awesome as that sounds, it does, however, pose quite a few questions about traveling within the Miami metaverse, especially if you don't have a ride. That's where today's video comes in, detailing the five modes of transport set for Miami. But before we dive into it, if this is your first time discovering Wilder World, then please make sure to go back and watch my original Wilder World breakdown, in which I covered every single aspect from cars to heists, land ownership, athletics, social networking, and much, much more. It's everything you'd need to know up until this point. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. Kicking things off at number five, we have Wilder Bikes. Having long been rumored to be a part of the Wilder World Motorverse, we finally have a sneak peek of what these bikes could look like. In terms of aesthetics, these Wilder Bikes designs really do fit the bill of a futuristic look. As far as playability goes, we do not have any information with regards to utility just yet, but do expect these bikes to come in a host of ranges which will most likely include unique features and drivability depending on which bike you get. In addition, the various types of terrain within Miami are sure to play a large part in Wilder World's play-to-earn gaming, so when it comes to competing against other Wilders for prizes, adding a bike to your collection could prove to be an ace up your sleeve. If you would like to know how to get whitelisted for these Wilder bikes, then make sure to keep watching until the end of this video, where I will describe to you exactly how Wilder World are going to be releasing them and how you can get involved. In at number 4, we have one of the latest leaks to come from the game's designers, a monorail. Yes, you heard correctly, you will be able to catch the train in Miami. Whether that train ride is free or comes at a cost, however, remains to be seen. The monorail should prove to be extremely useful in-game, as players will not be able to teleport, meaning that all game users must physically travel in-game using some mode of transport. The other driving factors for public transport are the amount of players that could potentially occupy Miami, with Wilderworld's direct competitors Decentraland claiming to host over 300,000 monthly users and the Sandbox Metaverse having more than 2 million registered users, Wilder World will definitely be seeking a similar amount of players. If we were to calculate the projected user base and assume that Miami has a moderate amount of 250,000 players, then take that number and divide it by the amount of wheels, bikes, and spacecrafts available, the answer is that there just aren't enough forms of singular vehicle ownership to go around. The monorail therefore makes perfect sense for Wilder World to accommodate other players into the city of Miami through the use of public transport. With a map of Miami spanning over 1,000 plus square kilometers, you might want to think about getting yourself that year-round pass on the Miami monorail. Yeah. 
In at number 3 we have my personal favourite, Wilder Wheels. Having set the tone with its dynamic gameplay abilities and stunning looks, the fanfare that these wheels have received was nothing short of astounding, and why wouldn't it be when these wheels looked this good? A large part of Wilder World's play to earn mechanisms will be their race to earn feature, in which cash prizes will be put up for competing races. In addition, car owners will also have the opportunity to up the stakes and race one another for pink slips. Each of these vehicles differs in characteristics, with some meant for drag racing and even off-road driving. The Wilder Wheels community has already created an amazing buzz between owners and potential game players, leading me to believe that the underground racing scene might just be the hottest place to be when the city of Wyami hits our shores. If you would like to grab yourself some wheels, you can still do so over on the secondary market. Boasting a floor price of 0.69 ETH, you might just find something you like and get lucky. With the release of the first phase of the Wilder World Metaverse just under a year away, now would still be a good time to cash in and get yourself pumped with the ride. Coming in at number 2 is none other than Wilder Kicks, something every Wilder should own. Wilder Kicks was originally introduced to us at the back end of last year, mostly as a piece of wearable Metaverse fashion. But what has been added to it are six levels of utility for in-game use. Each of these categories will sport a rating between 1 to 3, with 1 being the lowest, 2 being moderate, and 3 being the peak of its abilities. First off, we have Sprint Speed, which will allow you to either jog, run, or sprint in-game. Next, we have Hops, which will allow you to leap varying in ranges, making it easier to avoid obstacles or potential dangers. Swim speed will definitely become useful as Wyami is an island that is surrounded by multiple other islands, so you might need it to avoid a shark or two. Climbability comes as a highly functional tool, as the treacherous mountain plains may hold some loot or treasure that is yet to be discovered on a quest. Zero gravity allows you to walk as if you were on the moon. Then lastly, we have the rarest of abilities which is to walk on water. I don't really have to explain the benefits of that one. Do I? With Season 0 and 1 having sold out in no time, it comes as no surprise that Season 2 of Wilder Kicks has recently launched with the same success. So if you want to give yourself a notable advantage in-game, you better make sure you've got the right kicks so that you don't get caught on the back foot. Finally in at number 1 and possibly the most important mode of transport, Wilder Crafts. Since releasing the trailer back in 2021, Wilder World have sold and minted their very first batch of Wilder Crafts. These flying cars are definitely some pretty unique vehicles that seems to be for the hardcore Wilders. With only 501 Wilder Crafts being minted, owning one definitely comes at a premium. Having been released in 5 different models ranging from M to E, O, W and Z, Owning one of these Wilder Crafts would definitely be an indicator of who the Wilder World Elite are. Meowth, that's right. Of course, if you would like to pick up one for yourself, you can still do that over on the secondary market. With the price ranging between 2 to 4 ETH, you might find it a little pricey. But keep in mind the utility a flying car would have on a map that spans over 1000 square kilometers. In a world where teleportation isn't possible, flying around in your spacecraft may prove to be the next best thing. If you would like to get whitelisted, Wilder World's foundational NFTs is what you're going to need, as they are your ticket to the next round of NFT mints. It has recently been revealed that owning up to 3 Genesis Wilder World NFTs from the various releases will greatly increase your chances with future drops. The Genesis models consist of Air Wild Season 0, Wilder Wheels 6,396 models, 501 Wilder Crafts, Wilder Cribs Cube, and lastly Wilder Beast Wolves. So if you don't want to get caught up in the race on the secondary market, you best make sure to get your hands on those Genesis models. If you would like to keep up to date with everything as it happens, be sure to join their Discord channel as well as follow their Twitter account. I will be sure to leave the links in the description. Having covered the Wilder World project extensively, I can tell you that there will be a lot more than 5 modes of transport within Wilder World. Some of the other rumored modes are boats, yachts, jets, and even hoverbikes that might be added to the game. 
I will be keeping a close eye on developments, so do make sure you are subscribed to the channel to get a sneak peek of what's to come in the city of Miami. Which of these five modes of transport are you most excited about? For me, it's definitely the bikes. Do you think all of these modes of transport are necessary and will it translate well into the virtual community? Also, if there are any other features of Wild World or projects that you would like me to cover or break down for you, then do let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I've been Ubaid, signing out for Third World Crypto. Stay safe, stay sound, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.